Today, the team is collaring an elephant with a state-of-the-art device that might save its life, a tag that sends an alert when the animal nears a farm. Many elephants across Africa get shot because they cause uh, damage to human property, to crops, to livelihoods, and indeed they kill people. Ian Douglas Hamilton searches for a herd, scanning the landscape by air, while researcher David Dabalan's team is on the ground. Uh, sorry, Ian. Where I'm circling, there are two groups of elephants tightly under the trees. You got it, Ian. He's found them in a perfect place. We don't want to lose them because, you know, they're not quite often at the moment around. So we want to take that opportunity, dad them, put a collar, because we know them from our past experience. They will defend so much. And if we have four cars, we can position ourselves in different positions to make sure that the females would not see the female that has gone down. They identify the female to be collared. That's in. Okay, she's down. Yeah. She's down. Okay, rush, down. rush, rush. Just get a good position. Drive. Once she's unconscious, Dabalan has only 20 minutes to attach the collar. The anesthesia makes the trunk muscles go slack. A stick will keep her airway open. This particular collar will do what Douglas Hamilton once only dreamed of. It will allow an elephant to communicate with him. The collar sends its alert to a cell phone via text message. This high-tech innovation is called geofencing. When an elephant crosses a virtual fence line, the GPS unit in the collar sends an SMS or text message to a server in Nairobi. The server then sends text alerts to a list of recipients who can quickly intercept the herd before it reaches a farm or human settlement. 